Yo guys, what's going on? It's Rose here bringing you guys the week one team builder for our game against Grum and his Philadelphia T-Tars. Grum is a super cool guy and I'm super excited for this game. His team is terrifying just like ours is. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for this. Go ahead and show him some love in the description down below along with all the other t uh, teams in BBRD League this season. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the matchup. As you know, our team, if you watch our draft analysis, is Roaring Moon, uh, Rotom Wash, Iron Moth, Terra Snorlax, uh, Screamtail, Tinkaton, Torkoal, Mudsdale, Decidueye, and Flamigo. Whereas Grum has a very scary team of his own. A little bit of a mirror match here going on. He's got Walking Wake, Chi Yu, Ogre Pond, Cornerstone, Ninetales, Terra Hoopa, Gallade, uh, Bronzong, Whimsicott, Toxtricity, and Doshbun. Um, now, there's a few threats of his on his team, as you can see. Um, Chiyu and Walking Wake in the Sun are definitely nothing to scoff at, although I do believe we brought the team that's going to be able to take those hits as best as possible. Um, Hoopa is a problem if we let it get a little bit out of hand. Um, Gallade, I am terrified of. Um, I have no switch-ins to Gallade on my team whatsoever. Um, there's a specific set that if he brings it, I'm just fucked. Um, yeah, Gallade is a huge problem. It basically, if it's Life Orb, it 2 it KOs just about everything on my team, no matter what I do. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of fucked with Gallade. I've accepted that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's something we have to definitely watch out for and try to play around. Um, Bronzong, I'm not super worried about just because we have so many things that can take advantage of it. Um, Whimsicott, it's a prankster mon. Um, like, it can be a little bit annoying, like, if it wants to prankster Thunder Wave, like, Iron Moth or something. Um, that could become an issue, but I'm not super worried about Wim. I think we have a really solid matchup into it. Uh, Toxtricity, um, it's not a huge issue because we have things like Mudsdale to, uh, take those hits. Like, we could bring, like, a Spideff Mudsdale to take advantage of it if we wanted to. Um, or, uh, some other things as well. Um, but it can be, like, you know, Shift Gear or Specs, you know, however they want to do it. Um, and then Dosh Bun, it's a Wish Passer. That's basically what it does. Um, it clicks Wish and Body Press and Play Rough is pretty much what uh, Dosh Bun does. So I'm not really expecting Dosh Bun to come, if I'm being honest, because between Tinkaton and Iron Moth, I don't expect it to show up. Um, it's just, yeah, I don't expect it to show up. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get right into this team builder. First up, we're going to be bringing Panquake, our Terra Snorlax. We're bringing Terra Water this week with Max Special Defense, Max HP, uh, Careful Nature with Body Slam, Fire Punch, Earthquake, and Gunk Shot with that Assault Vest. This completely inhales the hits from Chi Yu. In the sun, in the sun, Max Modest Specs, Overheat does like 25%. Uh, the, his best way to hit me is Dark Pulse, and that does th less than 30%. This is my Chi Yu check. This also takes on uh, Walking Wake really well. Um, Draco specs can become a problem, but if he wants to like Terra Water, you know, if he wants to, not Terra Water, but if he wants to hit like some Hydro Steams or anything like that, we can take advantage of that really nicely because we take like 15% from specs um, with that as long as we're Terra. Um, but yeah, this is my Spadef wall. This thing is going to sit in front of that Chi Yu seven ways to Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm not, this is just going to be my spit F wall. This thing is fantastic this game, and I'm super excited to just absolutely sit in front of his team. Uh, next up, we're bringing Sizzler, the Iron Moth with Boots. We're running Max Special Attack, Max Speed with a Timid Nature, Rest in Defense, uh, U-Turn, Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Wave, and Fiery Dance with the Heavy Duty Boots. Um, he has a couple of Hazard Setters on his team, so Boots, I felt like, were one of those things where I didn't want to have to force myself into removal. Um to make sure that Iron Moth can do things this game. I think Iron Moth has a fantastic matchup this game uh, with Dual Stab just ripping through his team with basically no consequence. Um, and then whatever, you know, the only thing that would be consequential to that would be like the Walking Wake, which is why we have Dazzling Gleam. Um, yeah, Boots, super, in, uh, I, I do like him this game just because like I said, I don't want to have to force myself into removing hazards. Um, and I think, like I said, it just, uh, uh, Iron Moth is just so, so nice this game. Um, I don't want to have to worry about anything like that. Um, next up, we are going to be bringing Bigly Tough, the Screamtail, with 248 HP, 152 speed F, 108 speed with a Calm Nature, the Leftovers with Dazzling Gleam, Flamethrower, Wish, and Baton Pass. Um, this will outspeed the Gallade guaranteed, unless it's like Scarfed or anything like that. Max HP, Rest in speed F. We actually also 
get a spadef boost um, if we're in the sun, which considering we have Torkoal on our team and he has nine tails, we're basically always going to be plus one spadef. So we're going to take hits from that walking wake even better. This is more so my walking wake check just because obviously Draco hits aren't going to do shit to me. Um, and if we can be in the sun, then like Hydra's names or flamethrowers or anything aren't going to be doing as much. Um, barring like specs, it's probably going to do some solid chunk. But um, yeah, Screamtail is super, super nice this game. It's a great walking wake check. Um, definitely excited to use it this week. Next up, we're bringing our Sunsetter Franklin the Torkoal with max HP, max defense, a little bit of special attack, bold nature with stealth rocks, lava plume, sludge bomb, and rapid spin, and the boots as well. Um, like I said, I don't want to force myself into removing hazards, but if we're going to be forced into removing hazards, then this is what I want to be doing that. Um, stealth rocks are just very free on his team because he has absolutely no removal. Um, Lava Plume for General Stab. The only thing that would obviously wall that would be something like the Dosh Bun, which is why we're bringing Sludge Bomb, just because we do about 35% or so with no investment um, if he's max HP and he's physically defensive. So definitely something that we can watch out for um, if he decides to bring the Dosh Bun, but I don't expect it to show up. Um, but yeah, this is basically here to uh, set up Sun. I can take a hit from the Gallade, but I do not take two, no matter what. So... Definitely, Gallade is a problem, but I've accepted that, and that's why I'm not really bringing anything to switch into it, because I just understand that I'm not going to be able to switch into it very well this week. Next up, we're bringing Big Swangin', our Tinkaton, with the Assault Vest this week. 248 HP, 76 attack, 40 special defense, 144 speed with a jolly nature. Uh, Gigaton Hammer, Play Rough, uh, Knock Off, and Fake Out, and the Mold Breaker ability. So, this is mainly an Ogre Pond check. This is my Ogre Pond check. Um... Fake out into Gigaton, guaranteed knocks that out. Um, the Assault Vest and our special investment allows us to take two specs overdrives from the uh, Toxtricity, guaranteed. Um, and then rest into attack, just because 76 attack actually makes it to our certain rolls are very much in my favor. The 76 is barely, like, it's just enough to guarantee fake out into Play Rough, uh, killing the uh ogre pond or uh, player into gigaton it guarantees that as well as uh fake out into play rough is a pretty much guaranteed kill on the gallade um as well which is super super nice um and then mold breaker just because we can break you know break some sharpness or anything like that but yeah tankaton is not super super important um if he doesn't bring toxicity or ogre pond that's really what this thing is here for um otherwise this is just gonna be here to potentially knock off some items um, otherwise getting a little bit of chip with like fake out and things like that. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, we are bringing Wendigo, our roaring moon with 36 HP, 220 attack, 252 speed, jolly nature with U-turn knockoff, dragon claw, and iron head with that choice band. Now with our investment, we will get a speed boost in the sun while still doing a chunk of damage because of the choice band. Um, our dual stab is very, very free on basically his entire team, not named Dosh Bun, which is why we're bringing the Iron Head. Um, but yeah, Roaring Moon just does so much damage uh, in this game. It is a massive, massive threat against him. Uh, and honestly, he doesn't have a great switch into this thing. Um, he's got a couple things that, that he, if he want, he had, he's basically forced to sack something off if he wants to switch into this. Because if I'm locked into knockoff, he can go into like Dosh Bun or something, or Chi Yu. Um, but if I'm locked into most, you know, it depends on what I lock into, whether or not he has a switch on for it. Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the team builder. Let me know um, if you guys think we're going to take this win this week. I'm really hoping we take this win. Starting off BBR with a dub would be fantastic. Um, good luck to Grum, and I'll see you guys in the battle. Peace out. One. Yo, guys, what's going on? It's Rose here bringing you guys the week one for the BBR D-League. We're facing off against Grum. And I think it's the Philadelphia T-Tars. Um, he brings a lot of what I expected. He brought Chiyu and Walking Wake. I was hoping Gallade didn't show up. But it did. Um, fuck, dude. I did not want this to show up. Um, no Toxtricity, which is nice. No Ogre Pond, which means my Tinkaton is a little more expendable. Um... Yeah, I, I do think this is my best lead. So I'm going to lead off with um with iron moth this thing just kind of chunks something pretty easily um i can kind of avoid sun a little bit because it doesn't like i don't necessarily need a chard 
If he's Scarf Gallade, I have to go into fucking Screamtail right now. I need to go into Screamtail right now. I'm not fucking... I'm not fucking playing. I'm not fucking playing. Screamtail versus Gallade. Fuck. Uh-oh. Um, if I am in the sun, I don't outspeed. Oh, fuck. I think I lose. If he's jolly, I, he outspeeds me. Um, I can't. I'm gonna wish. Poison jab? I might be... Fuck. Oh, I ate. I kinda ate. Nope! Fuck! I need that not to happen! Oh my god. Fuck. I needed that to not happen. Um, poison jab did... Took me down to... Fuck me, dude. Two, I'm at 232. Do I take another poison jab? He's not life orb. He's so he's weakness policy. Uh, poison jab... I just knew I had no switch into this. Uh, he's weakness policy, so... Uh, 232, do I take another? 260... Yeah, I'm at 64. It looks like I live this. Uh, does Tinkaton take a hit from the Glade? Yes, actually. This is okay, I should live this. Huge, okay. And play- uh, Fake out into play rough sends it packing. Shit, my walking wake switching just got fucking railed. I'm going into this, I'm clicking fake out. So he's got poison, jab, and agility. I'm, dude, I can't even see the fucking Gallade, it's just not there. Fake out. That should put him in range of a play rough. Uh, does he have another? He has the uh, what's it called? I don't think he switches it in though. I'm gonna fucking play rough. Sacred sword. I should live this. I do. Please connect. Let's go. Huge, huge, huge. Tinkaton kills Glade with play rough. Huge. Okay. So that means this thing is useless now. That would, at this point, that's really the only thing I needed it for. Um. That's amazing. Holy shit. Um. I will pr probably knock off whatever comes in. I'm probably gonna knock off. Melt it, Chiyu? Bronzong. Oh, I'm gonna get a free knockoff here. I'm gonna go fucking straight for this knockoff. Get some damage off. If he's full fizz def, we're doing about 25. That's about right. Heat rock. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Bronzong kills Tank with Gyro. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me take. Uh, Miss Swinging off of the. Do I just go into. Actually, do I just go into this and click Fiery Dance? I think the answer is yes. You could be heat proof. Actually, you're probably heat proof now that I think about it. Um. Do I need Screamtail anymore? It's not gonna switch. I mean, it's gonna be nice to be able to switch in. So, I'll U-turn. I'll U-turn here. Um, just so I can kind of scout. 
just so I can kind of scout what he wants to do. Potentially earthquaking. Uh, Iron Moth should be doing like 7%. Okay. U-turn. Yeah, that's about right. So if he's not heatproof, uh, if he is heatproof, fiery dance wouldn't kill at that range. Okay. Would knock off from this range kill. Probably not. Um, I think I want to free switch, so I think I'm going to sack off Screamtail here. I'm going to sack Screamtail. Bigly Tough, you did good for me. You, yeah, I'm okay with, with letting this go. He's going to Psy Shock. I'll die to either this or to poison damage. Okay. Uh, Bronzong kills. Uh, Tail with Psy Shock. I think he's gonna be that. <sighs> is that like 50 some odd percent? Gyro Psy Shock. I'm gonna go into this. I don't wanna set up my rocks. Uh, let me take off the Scream Tail. Off the, there we go. Okay. Torkoal. 27 ish is what I'd be looking at. Uh, I want to make the aggressive double into Snorlax. I really do. I'm going to make the aggressive double into Snorlax. He potentially stays in. Stealth Rocks. Okay. So he's gonna have Stealth Rocks. So, okay, so he's got Gyro, Psy Shock, Stealth Rock. What's his fourth move? What is it, Earthquake? Um, Snorlax in the sun. How much is. I could Terra right now. I'm gonna Earthquake. I'm gonna Scout. He is heatproof. Okay, good to know. Oh, that's huge damage. Huge fucking damage. Okay, he's gonna get some damage off. That's okay. Down to 400. 76%. I can still easily wall the other uh, thing. Um, I kind of want to fire punch just in case he swaps. Just in case he swaps, I'm gonna fire punch. But he's not. Okay, cool. So now Snorlax gets another kill. Snorlax kills... Zong with Fire Punch. So we do have rocks on the field, but we can easily get rid of those with Torkoal. Um, kind of. I didn't want to tear water just in case that wind wants to come in. Him? What is this? Chiyu? Let me introduce you to the switch-in. Let me introduce you to the switching, guys. This is exactly what this is for. Because in the sun, if I tear water right now, he does jack diddly squat. This is my Chiyu answer. I fucking sit in front of this. If he is modest specs, he does... 15 to 18 with overheat. His best way to hit me is Dark Pulse, and he does 27 with that. Yeah, his best way to hit me with this um, would be Dark Pulse, and that does less than 30%. Welcome to AV Snorlax. Welcome to AV Snorlax. He's gonna switch out. Okay, did he... Was that just a bait? Probably just a bait. Walking Wake? This is still a good Walking Wake switch. Uh, special attack boosting, okay. Walking wake, 
effects in the sun. Um, Draco does a chunk. Does like 35-ish. That's about it. That's if he specs. To mid specs. If he's modest, it does more. The 25. Yeah, that's about right. Um, I am going to. Let's see. I want to stay in. Because this is such a good switch in form. How many, how many turns of sun do I have left? This is the last turn. Okay. What's useless here? I think Iron Moth might be the most expendable here. Because I need the. Well, actually, I can outpace. If, uh, if Roaring Moon kills. 30 seconds, okay. Roaring Moon to Chiyu. If I can, in the sun, uh, Dragon Claw has a chance to kill. It's a good chance. Um, I'm gonna Body Slam here. He's gonna Draco. This should be doing about 35. Uh, ooh, that's from 400 down to 256. Hold on. Can I get a pair? No, okay. So... So from 400 down to 256, that was only like 25%, which means he's not specs. Which means he's probably scarfed. Which is actually good for me. Walking wake. Um, which means he's not specs, he's scarfed. Uh, special attack. Yeah, that's only... Yeah, okay. So that is... Um, he is scarfed. Good to know. Uh, I'm gonna body slam again. He's gonna flip turn. Okay, so he's not. What are you? I'm not sure what this is. Um, he's got. What does he have left? He has the Whimsicott. He has the Wake. He has. Oh, he's probably gonna go into the Hoopa. Scorched? No, that's the. Oh, it is the Hoopa. Okay. Okay. I actually could lose to Hoopa right here. Carrot Ground Hoopa. I wish I had Energy Ball. I wish I had Energy Ball now. Uh. Actually, if he scarfed Chiyu, my my Roaring Moon will outspeed him as long as I get Sun up. So. Uh. I'm okay letting this go, I think. He's gonna stay in. Okay, I'm gonna get a fucking hat. I'm gonna get a hit off. Torched? Is this the Chiyu? It's the whim. Okay. So, here? Did about 15, 10, 15. Uh, to whimsicott. I know, I know Gunk Shot would fucking obliterate it. I'm aware Gunk Shot would obliterate it. He's max HP, max defense, is what it looks like. Did 9 to 11%, that's about right, yeah. So then, Gunk Shot would kill here. He could Encore me. Am I okay walking into that bait? I think I am. I'm okay walking into that bait. I don't think he's gonna, because I have Fire Punch, I don't think he's gonna expect the Gunk Shot. Um, I almost brought Heavy Slam over it. He is gonna U-turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get a hit off. I'm okay with him weakening this, because I'm going to keep this on the field until it dies to get a free switch. Something is getting a hit. Is it... Parched... Okay, so that's Chiyu? Wake. This might kill. Never mind. I lied. Uh, that might have killed, actually. Okay, I'm going to body slam here. 166, I should take a hit. 32%. He could just flip turn out into the fucking thing. I'm okay with that. Uh, if he gets a crit, he would kill. Dude, Snorlax is putting in work. This is exactly what I needed it to do, is to just weaken a bunch of his shit. It was more so to be a Chiyu check. Um, but I kind of got forced into using it like this, but I'm okay with that, I think. Flip turn. He's gonna just flip turn into Hoopa. Is he gonna flip turn into Hoopa? We're about to find out. Huh. You could be... If Scarfed Hoopa outspeeds 
the thingy. Uh, moth, Hoopa. It probably does. Scorched, I think that's Hoopa. Okay, yep. Yeah, he would. Okay, uh. Do I take. I doubt I take the hit. At 166. Um. I don't take a Psy Shock. I'm gonna. I'm gonna EQ this time. He's gonna Psy Shock. I'm gonna die. I could have gone into Moon on that. Uh. What's it called? Hoopa kills Lax with. Uh. Psy Shock. Okay. Lax, you put in a ton of fucking work, buddy. I am proud of you. You did great. Um. I want to just go in and fucking knock off and do some damage. That's what I'm doing, because I could scout for Scarfed. He's probably gonna- he could easily sack off, uh, the Walking Wake here. Um, which, let's see, Roaring Moon versus Walking Wake. Would U-Turn kill? Because if U-Turn kills, U-Turn actually might- I'm okay with that, because if then he can go into, like, Whimsicott, and I can get a free switch into Torkoal or Iron Man. Oh, I forgot he has rocks. That's fine. Dude, it's, I've, Snorlax has been sitting there for so long, I forgot he had rocks. He is gonna switch. Parched, that is the win. No, it's this. Uh, this should kill. Huge. Moon kills. Wake with. Uh. U-turn. Um, I want to go into... I have two Boots users left. I could easily just go into this. Would a Psychic from the Whimsicott kill me? For, if he's, like, full Fizz Def, like I expect him to be. If he's got Psychic, I don't think it kills. No, Psychic, if he's got no investment, doesn't do shit. Uh, if he's modest, he does about half. So I can easily go into this and click Sludge Wave for fucking free. Five free, guys. Five free. Five free. So yeah, Sludge Wave does min 300%. Just gonna let you guys know. <laughs> I do 300% with Sludge Wave to this one's a cut. Iron Moth is about to cook. He could be Scruff Chiyu. This would be the way that I find out. Uh, Dark Pulse has a chance to kill if he's modest. Um, if he's modest... Oh, that's that's with Choice Spikes, never mind. So, no, he, I, live, I love Dark Pulse. He's gonna go into this. Okay. What? Okay, how much am I doing to this? Oopa... You have to be Scarfed, right? Like, there's no way you're not Scarfed. Like, this is yelling Scarfed, right? Like, this really just... Does he get fairy moves? I don't know why I don't know this. I should know this. I have time. 30 seconds. No fairy moves. Okay, I can freely go into this. He can get Focus Blast, but he's not Focus Blasting. Guaranteed. He's not Focus Blasting. This is the rose- this is the rose guarantee. He's not doing it. He's gonna Terra. Probably Terragram. Or he is Terragram, but he's gonna... Uh, Terra Blast would do how much? Uh, about 45-ish. Yep, brings me from what? What to what? 270 to 104. That from 75% to 30. Uh, that's looking like it's probably scarfed. So here's what I have to do. Dragon Claw would kill. I sack off Torkoal, get a free switch back into this. Dragon Claw and win. Because I'm speed boosting. 
is speed boosting. So even if he has Scarf Chiyu... I'm gonna sack this off, that's okay. Torkoal, your, not, your death will not be in vain, I promise. He's gonna Terror Blast, this should just kill me. Maybe it doesn't. It does. Ha! <laughs> Uh, Hoopa kills Torkoal with Terra Blast. Uh, I'm just gonna go right back into this and start dragon clawing some motherfuckers. Actually, no, he's just gonna go into the Whimsicott that's still there. That was stupid. Hold on. I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. Okay, 59. Do I take rocks? I do take rocks again. Uh,. I kind of want a U-turn. I'm going to U-turn on the Wimp Switch. Could cost me, but I'm going to U-turn on the Wimp Switch. I think he does. He has to in order to not die to a fucking Dragon Claw. Because this thing drops. He doesn't! No! 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 Fuck! I just threw. I just threw. I, I lose now. Um, I needed him to... No, it was no, it was no consequence for him to stay in. Uh, cause this, yeah, this thing dies to Terra Blast. Damn it! Moth with Terra Blast. Shit. Fuck, man. If I click Dragon Claw or Knock Off there, I could double into. Yeah, no, I should. I should have just done that, cause then I can switch into the. Uh... Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm getting flinches. I'm getting flinches. I'm getting flinches. This is what's gonna happen. Because I am getting uh flinches. I have three turns of sunlight left. Fuck. Iron head. So I'm getting flinches. Moon kills Hoopa with Iron Head. I don't know why I didn't just do that before, because if he goes Chiyu, then I could have sacked this off, gotten in the thing for free. I need to get some... This is weird. Why would you... Oh, you're Scarfed! Wait, what? How the fuck? Wait, I'm max speed! max speed he shouldn't be outspeeding me in the sun wait no that doesn't make any sense I naturally what the fuck is that uh what yeah no I should have out what the hell was that I mean, I, lo I lost anyways. I lost anyways. That's not what I'm... I'm confused. According to this, I should have outsped. I mean, GG's to Grum regardless. Um, he played great. I think if I sacked off Moon, I think... I would have just won with, uh... With Moth, maybe. Unless this is an offensive whim. Um... Yeah, I... I'm at a loss. I'm very confused as to how he outsped. Because I still had sun up, so I should have had sped. I don't know. I don't know! But we're gonna take the 2 0 loss to Grum in week one. Uh, a little unfortunate, but that's just kind of how it happens. Uh, I will see you guys in week two. Peace out.